Now, what we see is that for Western European and North American uh, locations, the projects are, I would say, mostly innovation and value seeking. No more incentive seeking, yes. except for some uh, specific types of projects. And again, we can do that on, on this subject later. Uh, decreased volume of investment and jobs. I don't think you will be surprised if I, if I say that. Um, delayed plans to business reengineering and tight cash management. Uh, focus on aftercare and strategic investment because obviously the first thing in a difficult moment is at least to retain what you already have. New markets uh, open through legislative and regulatory environment. Obviously, uh, we were talking, uh, Cathy was talking about clean energy before. This is a new uh, uh, market because of some technology issues, but also because of change in the legislative and regulatory environment. And this is extremely important because there are many opportunities related to these changes in the uh, legal uh, uh, framework. Investment may come also through other modes of investment, through joint venture alliances and partnerships, GEAP, uh, mergers and acquisition, scientific collaborations, and scientific collaborations are often the first step then to open an R&D center. So this is an extremely important mode of entry in your location that you should look at, probably more than in the past. OK, so this was the, I would say, the qualitative uh, presentation. I will then <coughs> obviously give you some figures to describe uh, uh, more precisely this FDI market. So, at the world level, what are the trends? So, no surprise, 2009 has been a difficult year. But, in terms of number of projects, 2009 was still higher than 2007. At the world level, we will see later that not all the world regions had the same evolution in 2009. But obviously the feeling that we all have that the market is more difficult today than it was before can be seen through these two other indicators. Capital expenses, and you can see that the decrease has been much higher according to this indicator, and number of jobs, obviously even more. So, not such a big difference in terms of number of projects, minus 15%, but more than, well, if you look especially in respect at 2007, more than 35% of decrease respect to uh, 2007 in terms of jobs. So the impact of FDI has decreased a lot in the past two years. As I say, not all the world regions had suffered in the same way uh, and for instance, uh, well, yes, you will see that, for example, three areas, three world regions has even seen a rise in the number of projects. Americas, North and South, have had higher, a higher number of projects in 2009 than in 2008. But Western Europe has suffered a lot, and Central and Eastern Europe even more. Central and Eastern Europe has been last year the, the, the most eaten world region in terms of FDI. And we will come back after on this point because I think it's really very important. Also because it, it is related to a change in the, in the way that corporates have think, thought about the, the, the foreign investment last year risk aversion has been much higher in the top uh, criteria than it has been in the past. And for this reason, Central and Eastern Europe has been looked as a quite risky area. Much more risky, for example, than North Africa, obviously the Asia and Latin America. 
which were the other emerging areas before the crisis. So, a quite huge decrease for, uh, but also for Asia-Pacific, but as I said, if you look at the 2009, we are still at a higher level than in uh, 2007. In terms of jobs, as the jobs were smaller and there were less manufacturing projects, obviously the impact in terms of the number of jobs created uh, has decreased a lot in Asia-Pacific, but it remains still at a quite high level. In terms of source world region, no world region has uh, shown a different evolution with respect to the others. So all the areas have brought less, have brought less projects and less jobs uh, in 2009 with respect to 2008. As I said, it's in interesting to look at some traditional criteria to segment the, the market, but I think that today, this is the key, the, 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 the key aspect to look at, is business activity function. Because if you want to really understand the market, I think it's, it's really, and if you want to see which type of projects you can attract, this is the first step to look at. So, in terms of business activity, obviously manufacturing has decreased, and has reached its lower level and even respect to 2003. Sales and marketing uh, operations in green uh, has suffered but are still higher than in 2008. The same for business services, which are in this uh, undefined color. Uh, Research and development, I would say, stay at, at a higher level than at the beginning of the period, but as suffered also. And uh, energy, I don't know, yes, uh, electricity, ICT, and internet infrastructure recycling, all these utilities uh, related projects uh, has also suffered because in 2009 some countries have changed their regu re regulation, especially, for example, Spain. Uh, respect to solar and wind energy, 